Hi everyone. So in what I'm sure to Marvel is the most confusing video I could ever do, I'm now <laughs> going to basically uh, advertise one of their services for free to everyone. Um, so uh, this popped up twice in my uh, Facebook feed with different people liking it. The deal is so good it is freaking insane. So the deal is it's kind of like Netflix for Marvel Comics and you pay $9.99 and you get, okay, it says in the ad 20,000. I would have sworn before it said 70,000. Put it this way, it's many thousand. It's more than you could ever read if you were like in an iron lung and all you could do is just read comics all the time, like all day long for years. You could never even scratch the bottom of the barrel, come close to it. And, and the thing is, even though I kind of talk up Marvel before SJW and I really love the 80s and 90s specifically, they weren't perfect. And quite honestly, probably 25% of them are, are what you're going to want to read. 25% of 20,000 is still pretty darn good. So um, now just touting this, it's like, oh, well, okay, fine. I get it. What do I read? That's a good question because that's what I found is that when I got it, I was just, I had it for like four months and it was before I had the channel and I would kind of like read it after work, but I... I would actually spend more time like hunting around and pecking around just to read like one or two comics and I, I wasn't smart about it. What you should do is you should find a good run of like two years of comics. So the deal with Marvel Unlimited is I I think I had it like two or three years ago and it was not good. It, you would like look up your favorite comic book run and it would have like three non-consecutive titles. Um, but now when I got it a couple months ago it would have like 80% or more of a title. And sometimes it would have like several years in a row with no, um, with no uh, issues missing. I think the reason they don't do like every single one in a row for several years is like maybe they think you're not going to buy the trade paperbacks. But I mean, you can get, and especially back in the day, um, Marvel would never assume you were going to read every comic. So missing like, you know, one out of every 10 or 12 comics, you are not lost at all. So to that end, okay, so more about Marvel Unlimited. So it's not perfect. First of all, the UI is kind of wonky. Um, uh, specifically, it, it's not one of those intuitive sites like Netflix or, uh, or the uh, Amazon, um, like the thing that they have that's like Netflix. It's sometimes you got to hunt and peck. And, but then when you do kind of figure out the wonkiness, and also the, it's not a perfect website. There are a lot of dead links. There are a lot of errors. Um, but once you kind of figure out how to work around those, if you, okay, so <laughs> I don't like reading comics digitally. That's why I got out of it. The money deal was insane, but I just like holding comics. I like smelling them. I like ripping them. I like flushing them down to toilets. Um, you know what I mean? I like keeping them. I like mailing them to friends and post office loses them. I like the physical aspect. I'm not into the digital aspect. But if you are, and I know a lot of people are, and I especially know uh, kind of the younger generation is, man, I cannot believe. And this is, what again, one of those dumb things that Marvel does. They should be touting this thing to the rafters. And yet they always kind of like mention it like just whenever they think about it, um, which isn't that much. So, uh, oh, as for new comics, um, you're not going to get the new comics on the stand. In fact, as far as I can tell, it's almost like Movie release to Redbox is kind of the distance. It's going to be like one to four months with an average of about three. That's what it looked like. Um, but then once they're about three months old, you pretty much get, I think, most of them. Uh, I was able to, that's how I caught up on the, the Charles Soule and Ron Garney uh, Daredevil. So yeah, so right at the end, right before I like quit it because I just realized I don't really like digital comics, um, I, I decided to stop hunting and pecking around and really say, okay, now I'm going to read <laughs> all of the Charles Soule Daredevils. Or um, the ones that I was kind of kicking myself after I was done is like, um, I would have tried to go uh, reread like all of like the John Byrne Namor or the uh, Fabian Nicieza and Mark Bagley uh, New Warriors or all of the Mike Barron, like Mark, uh, Mike Barron and Mark Texiera Punisher comics. Also, um, Mike Barron, Bill Reinhold, um, all of the Jim Lee X-Men, or Uncanny X-Men, not X-Men, 
<laughs> X-Men is kind of when Jim Lee became like Jim Lee Incorporated. And that's what I didn't like his stuff. But before he did that, uh, when he was like on Alpha Flight, The Punisher, War Journal, and Uncanny X-Men, he was good. Especially when he was auditioning for it. Man, alive, those are some great comics. So that's my that would be a, my advice to get. I would say if you like Marvel comics, especially older Marvel comics, if you like digital comics, um, and especially like if you can't afford, you know, the <laughs> buying the new comics off the stands, um, it's a great deal to go. And, and if you don't care about having like the brand new, like when you hear the thing about Secret Empire, yeah, you're going to read that in about three months. But you know what? It's not that great. So you can wait. But what I'm telling you is if you want like 30, 40 years of really great older comics, I'm not that old. I mean, like I did this video earlier where I picked, um, I picked a, uh, just a really cool cover that was from Secret Invasion. And, uh, it's like, uh, Lanil Francis, Francis Yu on the Avengers, I think it was. Man, that was a great era. That was about uh, 2006, 2007. So there, I mean, there's a lot of great eras from Marvel. And unfortunately, the current one is not one of them. But uh, there is more than enough for you to literally for the next couple years just read one or two or three a day. A couple on a Saturday. <laughs> it's a great deal. I just like... I can't flush digital files. It's, just, it's very frustrating. I can't rip them. All I can do is just read them and then be happy or sad. That's not really my deal. If you've seen, seen my uh, uh, my channel before, but uh, yeah, so check it out. It's not an endorsement. I'm sure uh, Marvel is thinking I'm doing some fourth dimensional chess move, and I'm actually in the building. <laughs> I'm recording this video from inside the building. No, it's just like uh, I, I always like to uh, compliment the good and the bad, and uh, uh, roast the bad and the good and uh, Marvel Unlimited if you like digital comics isn't just good it's great it's an insane deal there's a oh so they also got this thing called Marvel Unlimited Plus which you might want to think about that title <laughs> if it's unlimited it's unlimited like how can something be unlimited plus but I looked at it it's like a yearly thing for I think like a hundred but it's good it's like you get all the older ones. I think you get some more of the new ones. You get exclusive. You get an action figure. Of course, it's Captain Marvel. But well, whatever. I don't know. Some people are completists. Some people just like any kind of action figure. Um, but uh, tell me what you think about this video. Tell me if you think I'm secretly Tom Brevoor. And that's why I'm not doing a face reveal. I might be Axel Alonso. I don't know. Wouldn't that be the most fourth dimensional chess move of all? I might be Armin from Comic Cast 2. And I just love tricking people. Come on, think about it. Who am I? Who am I really? All you know is that I have hands. How do you know? Do you even know I have a body above my middle forearm? You don't know. You don't even know what you don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, uh, subscribe and hit no notifications. I'm going to do a uh, uh, my next video. Man, I got a bunch of physical comics to read. I've just been having kind of like cooler ideas before them. I'll get to them probably tomorrow. But um, my next comic up is called Iron Fist vs. Cultural Appropriation. Plot twist. It's not a fight because you can't fight something that doesn't exist. But it's going to be a fun video about talking about the Iron Fist uh, Netflix series, talking about the Iron Fist movies, talking about how do you talk about something that doesn't exist, talking about why people talk about cult cultural appropriation as if it's something real and all the really shady, scandalous, and not even borderline racist just straight up racist, like progressive racism uh, that keeps like uh, eking out of like the pores of Marvel. So, hey, yeah. <laughs> How confused are you now, Marvel? I do an advertisement for you and it ends with me calling you progressive racist. <laughs> of course, when I say that, I'm not talking about everyone. It's just, like part of them. But all of Marvel Unlimited is a good deal. And oh, that's the other thing. If you like roasting stuff, but you're like, I don't have a channel. I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting any revenue. How I would like to roast Nick Spencer. I would like to do it. Go, you, there, you can go, go search by his name and then just, just roast him in your head. And he'll probably be sad. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll have that. Uh, 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 I'm into doing these late night uh, uploads. So uh, that uh, Iron Fist will probably be like 12 a.m. Eastern or later. Thanks. Bye.